Today I'm going to show you how to make rad rabbit wraps. These wraps are so easy to make and they're super fun. You start by going to your garden and really harvesting anything that you want to enjoy in your wrap. These wraps got their name, rad rabbit wraps, because we know that rabbits like to eat almost any vegetable and it's really healthy for us to eat a lot of vegetables too. You can even eat um, these flowers that are growing on our broccoli plants. Let's see, got a lot of different colors. I'm gonna get one more thing. Swiss chard. Okay, we're ready. Let's go inside and get to work on our rad rabbit wraps. The first thing that I did when I came inside was wash all my veggies. You can see here that some of the veggies, I went ahead and I prepped them just by chopping them into smaller pieces like radishes and beets and turnips. You'll want to do that with. But I want to show you a trick. For leafy things like Swiss chard or kale or lettuce, um, you can actually just rip off pieces, make them bite size. They'll be delicious that way. Um, and if you want, you can even use one of these knives that's good for kids or adults, but it's really safe to use. Okay, besides all of your different vegetables, you're also going to want to um, have some sauces to go in your rad rabbit wraps. So I have the homemade ranch recipe that I made. I have the garden pesto and I have some hummus. And then, of course, you're going to need your wrap. If you're making rad rabbit wraps for a meal, you're probably gonna wanna make a whole wrap for yourself. So you'll begin by choosing your sauce. Let's choose some of this ranch. this looks good. I'm gonna roll it up. Okay, now I have my first rad rabbit wrap. Let's make some more. Another thing I like to do if I'm making these wraps as a snack or if I'm making a lot to share, I'll actually cut the tortilla in half and I'll use one tortilla to make two wraps. Ooh, that looks like a really good one. All right, now let's see how these are. Mmm, really good. 